This is a DS Lite and it's defective in some way or something's wrong with it. Uh, it's been in my drawer for a while. So, I mean, let's try to find the issues, yeah? So I can already tell that the power switch needs a clean. Let's see, maybe the buttons need a clean. R needs a clean. Let's see, does L need a clean too? Let's see here. No, L works fine. Yeah, these buttons need to be cleaned. Yeah, what else could there be with this thing? Cartridge slot looks fine. The charging port looks fine. This I'll take off and clean. Yeah, it does have screen protectors. Let's try to get these off. If I can get my finger under there. Yeah, screens look brand new otherwise. They were applied right when the person bought this thing in like 2006, I'm guessing. Yeah, looks fire. So, only needs a couple of fixes. So, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, let's just get started with opening this thing. Remove this first, so I don't break anything. Battery cover, take out the battery. Take out these rubber pieces. There we go. Now all of the screws. Hopefully this won't take too long, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. It shouldn't. I've done this so many times. I need to change to try a wing. Yeah, this will be a pretty easy fix, I think. Only thing that can get hard on this thing is the uh, cleaning the R button, because cleaning the R and L buttons are really hard. Boom. It's really easy to access, but, or it's, that's the thing, it's not easy to access. You can't really get in there. Because, I mean, if you want to permanently fix it, I guess you have to re replace the button, but after a while it gets dirty again. It's just caused by dirty buttons, so... Yeah, really, really, really common. I've seen that more on the DSIs, but... I mean, as long as you clean it well... It should do the job. I'll just clean the motherboard. Okay, um, yeah, what do I need to do here now? Uh, yeah, I mean, just lift the motherboard, I guess. Yeah, let's clean all of those buttons first. The A, B, up, down, all of those. And then I'll move on to the R button. Was the L? No, it was R, yeah, it was R. Boom, just like that. Take Q-tips. Ice purple alcohol. And start cleaning. Those look nice. If you look at these, these look like they're clean. Oh yeah, they were pretty clean, but yeah, I mean, there is a little dirt, but they were pretty clean. I think it's actually the first time I see them so clean, but these rubber pads are the ones that get dirty. And yeah, it becomes hard to press the buttons when they're dirty. That's done. Ready to close it up again. Now for the R button. And put the screw in and the screw in. <clears throat> oh, come on, buddy. 
much easier to do this with pliers. You know what? Let me just get some tweezers. Here we go. Let's see here. Come on. Come on. Yep. There we go. And grab a little isopropyl alcohol and start cleaning. Yeah, I have to do this for a while. So let me just cut this out of the footage while I just try to get this clean. You know what? I'll also put in some isopropyl alcohol inside of the button. Because I said it's really hard to access the inside of this without, yeah, I mean, you can't really do anything. You have to, enter, like, replace the entire button or, yeah, I mean, try to get it clean like this. Try to get some alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol on the inside here. So, yeah, let me just try to clean this off camera. Alrighty, so let's put this back together. Boom. We can see this. We have to push in the button. There we go. Now, one side, just like that. Second side. Ouch. Spring just went into my finger. Yeah, that is pretty hard to because the camera does not focus sometimes. It starts focusing on my hand instead of my instead of what I'm doing. There we go. Boom. Now let's close this up and hopefully it works. I also forgot to test the sound, but uh, yeah, I mean, it should work. I'll have to test that now. Yeah, but I cleaned the power, no, the sound switch too. So hopefully it's fine and I don't need to open it again. That is fine. Yeah, a little gap here, but uh, that's fine. It'll close when I close this up. I'm not gonna put in all of the screws. Just to make sure that R works and everything works. Boom, that gap is gone. Just need another screw here and boom. Okay, let's see here. Yep, sound works. R works. Let's make sure L works. Yes, it does. Yep, everything works. Wait, I forgot to test touch, but I'm guessing that's gonna work too. Yep, yeah, because the screen looked almost mint. Yep, great. I'm almost done. I also have to change the language on this DS Lite because it's in Japanese right now. So yeah, I'll do that too. Boom. And the last screw. There we go. Great. Now, put this in, put this in. Boom. 
boom. Take away the serial number because it looks ugly, not because it's stolen or anything. There we go. Now, I'll just get a microfiber cloth and give this thing a clean. There we go. Actually, I had a customer the other day. He came over and he uh, bought a new 3DS XL. And he asked me why the serial number, or he, he talked to me over the phone but after he bought it. He asked me why the serial number was gone and I was like, uh, oh yeah, I mean, uh, it's because uh, the covers were replaced on that new 3DS XL. It had new covers and new covers don't come with serial numbers. So yeah, he, he just asked if it was like stolen or anything. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was pretty professional. So I'm guessing he's not used to like serial numbers being gone or something. I don't really know, but yeah, I mean, cause there's usually like here too, there's supposed to be a serial number, but I took it away because it looked ugly and people don't really care. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because, on, for example, guns, if you remove serial numbers on guns, then they first of all become illegal, but you can also do that on like stolen guns. So they're like unregistered. But yeah, that's often not how it is with consoles, I feel like. If a console is missing its serial number, it's, it's probably not because it's stolen, but yeah, I mean, on these handhelds, these stickers get so ugly and I don't really want to sell someone a bad looking DS Lite. I think it's more important that it looks good because I don't think anyone's gonna buy a... Yeah, I mean, first time that happens. But yeah, look at this thing. Looks fresh. This thing looks minty. Ooh. Yeah, a little bulge on the back there serial number is removed yeah the there we go there's still some ipa that needs to dry but yeah looks good so yeah boom now let's just change the language and i'll be done i'll head to make other videos Let's see here. I'm just gonna skip everything. It does not matter what this is on. And if you're using a R4 card that it's like outdated, then just setting it to 2000. That is gonna be smart, just in case it has like a time bomb or anything. Time that English. Boom, boom, and boom. And boom, it's done. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. This is me restoring a Game Boy Color. This is me restoring a Game Boy first generation. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.